Let's go back to the time when Jane unsurprisingly fucked up. Rachel Keeble, who people know her for, her disturbing habit of supporting and enabling people who pose a threat to children, racist, homophobic, laughing at an old man making sexual assault threats, lying about serious medical conditions, etc. Lately, Jane has been letting slip that Rachel and Joe Chrome have been informing and spying on Tanya Philbert and feeding information back and forth. Oh dear, a video will be made soon of all their embarrassing fuck-ups. For now, enjoy the moment where Jane let slip that Rachel is the fake Sarah account that supports and enables her racist homophobia and Jane's predatory partner, Peter Marfleet. This was December 1st. Rachel, under the alias Sarah, still supports these vile creatures. Instead of her own family, keep up with the comments and Jane's inability to keep up with her own lies. <laughs> I don't know where this conversation's going. I'm totally lost here. <laughs> What are you on about cancer for? <laughs> My mama had hormonal breast cancer. My goodness. I think. I'm not lying about cancer. My mum had hormonal breast cancer. She lost her left breast. <laughs> Block her, Rach. You just, you know, the past is in the past. Leave. You're just doing it for a reaction from people at the end of the day.
Nej. Ja. Oh, I didn't lie about cancer. My mum had breast cancer. Yeah, just... Oh, Jeremy. me. Right, time to sort you lot out. Because I'm not having you fighting. Thanks. I have reborns, yeah. I don't care. Made to look and feel like a real child. Yeah, Rachel's my friend, so what? Yeah, Rachel's normally on here, yeah. I'm good, thank you. So we're going to leave it there because you lot are getting out of hand. And we just do that one. We just do that one. We do that one. And we'll do that one. And we'll do that one. There we go. Anyone else wants to go on the list? Plenty of room. Rachel's not even here either. <laughs> yeah, you got to give Madam a charge.
actually found this blocking you. So we're off. We have somewhere to go.